Somebody asked me, <laughs> are you looking to date someone right now? Actually, no. No. Hell no. <laughs> no. No. I'm focusing on myself, trying to get my goals together. I have a lot of goals that I want to um, accomplish for myself. I got to put me first. I got to put me first. I got to put me first, Lucia. to another video <laughs> what's good guys hope you guys are having an amazing week so far welcome to another video Thank you guys for tuning in and showing me some love. You already know. Make sure if you're watching this video, you're not subscribed. Subscribe right now. Like this video. And click that notification bell. I'm not playing with you. Girl, I'm kind of tired, girl, from all that nice and I just did a walk with girl. Three, Bruh. two, one. Or, you know, um, hope you guys are having an amazing day. Oh my god guys, so guys, we are 300 subscribers short of 10k. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Listen, remember when I get to 10k there will be a giveaway. Period. Oh, and talking about that, guys. Oh lord. I still see people DMing me. Okay? Guys, you gotta pay attention, okay? People are still trying to scam y'all in the comments on any of the videos. That is not me. So if anybody message you and say whatever, you should send them any money for any shipping because you won. Guys, I'm not even at 10K yet. So you guys, that's a fraud, okay? There won't be a giveaway until I get to 10K. And I will be contacting, I didn't even give y'all like the instructions yet. So guys, be very careful and look out for people. They are trying to scam you guys. And I already spoke about this in a previous video, but I guess a lot of people haven't seen. But the profile that is messaging you guys, if you look, they're, they're using my picture, yes. But if you look on the YouTube page, you will see that it's a different name. It's not called Life of Carry. And if you look on their page, you can see that they have no subscribers. So that's definitely not me. So please pay attention, guys. This is the last time I'm going to tell y'all. I told y'all a few times. Please pay attention. Please pay attention. For the people in the back, please pay attention. Period. But guys, I'm about to get ready to go to the movies. I haven't been to the movies in a while. And um, there's this movie that is out now that I really want to see called Nope. So I'm going to take myself on a little movie date. I don't think I've ever been on a solo movie date by myself before. But I'm going to do that today. Um, and yeah, I've been seeing online mixed reviews of this movie. But I want to go and see for myself to see if I'm going to like it or not. So that's what I'm about to do today. I may go out to get something to eat after that. I'm not sure yet. It depends because I already have a, a headache already. So, But I'm definitely not buying none of the movies because their food prices are overpriced for no reason, girl. So, yeah. And I think this movie is a little bit over two hours. So my movie is at 7 o'clock. So I'm going to start getting ready now because it's kind of like, I think it's like 5 o'clock now. So I'm going to start getting ready. And yeah, so um, I'm going to give y'all a review of the movie after. And um, there was something that I wanted to tell y'all. Mm. Ten years later. Oh, 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 I want to thank y'all so, so much for all the love and um, kind comments that I got on my last video. I want to thank you guys so, so much. And as I said before, guys, I am okay. I am doing good. Um... 
Yeah, I'm okay. You know, you know, stuff happens and you just move on. You learn from it and you move on. And we over here, good girl. As as I said before, in a tree, now when I'm a fierce. Oh, baby. So yes, I am good, guys. So no need to worry. And yes, I'm happy that I'm stress free, girl. But yeah, let me go get ready to go to the movies. I am so excited, y'all. Comment down below. And let me know if y'all saw this movie. And I'm definitely going to give y'all a review. Um, yes. Oh, guys, I'm also excited because, y'all, Reggae Storm Fest is this weekend. And I can't wait. I'm going to be live streaming it. So I'm probably going to show y'all a little clip here and there while I'm watching it. But I am so excited to watch Reggae Storm Fest. If y'all don't know what Reggae Storm Fest is, it's only the biggest festival the biggest reggae festival in the world, honey. And you have so many good performers that are gonna be performing this year. First of all, it's been two years since they had it because of COVID. So you know everybody's gonna come out, people flying into Jamaica just for this festival. And because the, the girls are outside. So you have um, Spice, you have Shed Sia, you have, who else you have? Who else you have on the show, girl? You have um, Aishana, you have Dexter Daps, you have Coffee, you have um, a whole bunch of people. Oh, and they're doing a tribute to Dave Kelly. Now, if y'all don't know who Dave Kelly is, go and research him. Um, on all them reggae music that came out in the 90s, like late 80s to the 90s, most of them um, songs, he produced them. Okay, and that's when I was growing up and I, I fell in love with reggae music. So I'm going to be living my life watching that. Oh, Barris Hammond is going to perform too and a bunch of people. So I am definitely going to be tuning in. I already paid for my live stream. And yes, I am ready. But let me go get ready to go to this movie, this movie girl. It's been a while. So um, stay tuned. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing the army, but we go it's in our foot. But we never rise on boost. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. We have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful. Blessing the army, but we go it's in So y'all, I just got to the movie theater. Um, it's 7.01, the movie's at 7. I'm about to run in. And of course, I'm gonna give y'all um, a rundown of how the movies went, the movie went, and let y'all know if I like it or not. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm about to run in right now and see what's happening. The parking lot looks full as hell. So a lot of people is here, um, I guess, to watch the show. The parking lot is like really, really full. And I haven't been to this movie theater in a while. So let's see what it's giving. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go in right now. Why well, my eyes look crossed eye? Um, I'm about to go in right now and see what it's giving. Period. So yeah, be back in a second. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. Blessing the army, but we go it's in our foot. We never rise on boots. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. We have to give thanks like we're really supposed to be thankful. Blessing the army, but we go it's in I'm about to be a fire team. Now I'm on stage with credit, say 
Two hours later. So, okay, Bears, I'm back from the movies, and when I tell you, I don't know, um, I have mixed feelings. Um, by the way, I decided I'm not gonna go out to eat because I kind of have a headache. I just want to relax, and I just picked up a salad before I got here, and I'm just gonna relax and watch some TV and have that salad. But do y'all like my little shirt that I wore? My little shirt with a little teddy bear on it. It is so cute. Yes, I love this shirt. I think I got this from Fashion Nova. Yeah, it is so cute, y'all. But anyways, um, I don't know. Like, I have mixed reviews. So, um, uh, I don't know. You know one of the movies where when you watch it, like, you're very confused. You're very confused and you probably have to, like, watch a a video on YouTube explaining it. That is what it is given. I feel like there is a, um, I feel like there is definitely, like, a deeper message. But by watching it, you kind of missed it because, first of all, I didn't even know when the, 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 the movie started. Like, I was there watching the previews and stuff like that. And I'm not even sure. All I remember is just seeing a monkey. And I thought it was a commercial for another movie. But it, the movie actually started, girl. <laughs> 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 so, when that happened, I'm, I'm, I don't want to really tell y'all what happened in the movie. But, um, alright, I'm going to say this. The acting was really, really good. Kiki did an amazing job. That other lead guy did an amazing job too. I don't remember his name, but he was in, um... He was in um, um, that first, first um, Jordan Peele movie. He was in there. Um, how much time am I going to say, um, girl? Oh, my god! Oh so, the movie overall, the production, everything was good. But I feel like it was really, really left field. And it's different from the other um, Jordan Peele films where you can you can um easily make out the plot or what he's trying to portray but in this one it's kind of more puzzling where you have to kind of think even like when the movie was done like i was kind of thinking if i was trying to piece the puzzle together or whatever whatever and i was so kind of puzzled i went in my car and i watched a youtube video explaining it and after watching the video um the youtube video that explained it I, I like the show more now and I and I understand it more now but some parts of it I'm like if we didn't have this video to explain then I don't think I would have figured this out by myself so it was kind of complex and I see why a lot of people were saying online that they didn't like it but I like it I don't know I like it um it was different yeah and yeah, I don't know. I like it and then I don't know. Like I li it was different. I'm gonna just say that. So, um the acting was really really good though. The acting was really good and yeah. I don't know. I I feel like I want something different from Jordan for his next um film though. But anyways, if y'all saw the movie, comment down below and let me know. Um I didn't want to like spill anything that was if for the people who haven't seen it seen it yet i didn't want to really spill anything to um yeah so make sure y'all watch the film and um if you already have just comment down below and let me know um what y'all think so i'm about to go get cozy girl i'm about to go get ready to watch reggae summer fest are you dumb um so yeah, see y'all in a second. The next day y'all already know in the gym doing what i need to be done 
I'm the only one in here right now, but I'm doing the damn thing. Come on, come on, let's do it. We could do it, y'all. We could do it. Woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo. 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 I'm doing four miles. I'm almost at two miles. Let's go. Let's go. One eternity later. So y'all, I'm in the kitchen cooking up a storm. I just felt like cooking some Jamaican food to celebrate. Our Jamaican athletes were killing it in the track and field. Are you dumb? My girls came in first, second, and third. Gold, silver, and bronze. Are you dumb? So I decided to do some um, stew chicken. Some brown stew chicken. Look at that. It is simmering, simmering, simmering. And I have some dumplings over here that is boiling. Period. And you know I gotta put some butter beans in this. Are you dumb? I love some butter beans. Not only in my oxtails, but in my brown sweet chicken also. And we have the sweet plant over here. The Mazudas. So this brand is from Goya. And this is, you can find this in the freezer section for everybody who's asking. This is the plantains that we use. And when I tell you, it tastes just like the sweet plantains that you'll be getting in Jamaica. This is the best sweet plantain. Yeah, um, I know it's in the freezer or whatever, but all you do is let it thaw out for a little bit and then you fry it. When I tell you, heaven, heavenly, okay? I'm gonna be back when the food is done. Oh my God, guys, so the food is done. Look how this food is looking. Oh my God, you see the heat? Look at that. Oh my. It's um like 11 o'clock now, we're about to eat. When I tell you I'm hungry, we have some Jamaican pineapple soda right here, DNG. Are you dumb? Oh my gosh. Much, much, much later. So, y'all, I am in the parking lot of the supermarket because I had to come get my lottery ticket. When I tell you the Mega Millions is at $810 million, are you dumb? Bitch! I had to come and get me a ticket. And mind you, this is the second time in my life I've ever bought um, a, lot, a lotto ticket. So, wish me luck, y'all. Y'all, 810 million? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I had to come get my ticket, y'all. And, um, now my ticket right here. I'm not gonna show y'all the front part, girl. But wish me luck. Listen, you never know. You never know, girl. So, I just bought two tickets well four tickets i bought for today and i bought for um friday's drawing and just wish me luck make sure y'all go get your lottery ticket too girl and don't forget your boy if you win <laughs> but anyways oh i forgot to ask y'all this from the other day do y'all like my drone um footage that i'll be putting in my vlogs the elephant heavy i feel like it, it adds like a really it um, adds a notch, a nudge up on the video when you have the little drone shots, which are beautiful, by the way. So comment down below and let me know if y'all like those. So yes, I am here at um, the supermarket. I, I don't know. I couldn't sleep this morning. It was, it was, I, I couldn't sleep. I saw something on Instagram about the lottery. And I'm like, you know what, Carrie? You need to go buy. You need to go to the um, supermarket and buy these lottery tickets. I actually went online. I was gonna buy them online because in Georgia you can buy tickets online. And I was like, no, Carrie, go in the store, fill out the thing, and get the um the thing and the actual print out ticket and buy your tickets that way. And so I did. So wish me luck, y'all. Um. So yeah, Reggae Summerfest was amazing. Reggae Summerfest was amazing. These artists, when I tell you these Jamaican artists, whew, the talent, 
the talent, the energy. No. I don't see no other artists doing this. These flanky flanky artists nowadays, they are not doing it like these Jamaican artists. No ma'am. Period! They is not doing it like these Jamaican artists. When I tell you, they have the strength, they have the power, they have the talent, the vocal cords are working. And these um these artists that I knew growing up from in like the 80s, the late 80s and the 90s. They still look so young. They still look so young. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That was an amazing show. Imagine if I was there. Girl, that was an amazing show. I really, really loved it. Really, really loved it. Oh, by the way, if y'all are not following me on Instagram, I'm going to drop my thing right here on the screen. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I actually have um, this question thing that I normally do on my Instagram where people can ask me questions and I answer it. And somebody suggested that I answer some of the questions in a video. So I'm going to answer some of them now. Let me see. Some of these questions be over the wall, girl. But let me answer some of them. Follow me on Instagram. So somebody asked me, what's your favorite sport? What's your, let me screenshot this so I can put it on the screen. What's your favorite sport? Uh, I don't really have a favorite sport because I don't play sports. Well, actually, in high school, I used to play um, what they call football here. But in Jamaica, we call it rugby. So I used to play that in high school. And um, because of my grandmother, I had to drop out because she was complaining that I was coming home too late. So, yeah, I could have been in the NFL, girl. You never know. So, but my favorite sports, I don't have a favorite sport. What I love, though, I love Olympics. I love track and field. So, yeah, she's a runner. She's a drink star. That's what I really love. Um, yeah, I really love track and field. And as you know, Jamaica kills it in track and field every single time. Period. Somebody asks, would you visit Barbados? Definitely one day. Definitely. I want to go every part of the islands, girl. Definitely. I would definitely visit um, Barbados one day. Wait and see, honey. Let me see what else you have. Somebody asked me, <laughs> are you looking to date someone right now? Actually, no. No. Hell no. <laughs> no. No. I'm focusing on myself, trying to get my goals together. I have a lot of goals that I want to um, accomplish for myself. I got to put me first. I got to put me first. I got to put me first, Lucia. I feel like when I'm dating, I, I tend to put a lot of energy into that person or dating that person and I don't like who I become when that happens and I'm trying to be a little bit selfish right now as I said before so yeah I'm not yeah um dating no so if somebody wants to take me on a date yeah that's different if somebody want to take me take me out to eat that's different but dating is actually a constant thing where yeah where you, i'm on the phone every day talking to them no i don't want that right now no no probably sometime next year probably a year from now probably next summer yeah i just need to get myself together and get my things together and yeah me mentally i'm not there so yeah no all right let me see what else is here where do you plan on traveling to um i want to go i want to go a lot of places um um y'all already know that i definitely want to go to puerto rico i haven't been to puerto rico definitely want to go i would love to go to ha hawaii Never been there before. Definitely would love to go. Where else do I want to go? Yo, when I tell you the sun is hot, I hope this camera don't turn off on me because it is hot today. And it's only, it only says 87 degrees, but I guess the humidity, no ma'am. Bruh. Two, one. 
So I want to go everywhere, especially overseas. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to the Philippines. I want to go to Bora Bora. I want to go to Turks and Caicos, girl. I want to go to Dubai. I want to go everywhere. So I feel like sometime in my life, I'm going to take a year and just travel, travel, travel. Because to be honest, if somebody would ask me if I how my life has been if I if I think I've lived like a good life I would have said in in terms of like exploring the world and having fun I would say no I haven't lived my best life because I haven't um vacationed and and toured this beautiful earth yet I haven't so I definitely that's definitely on my bucket list period okay let me see Somebody asks, what happened to the podcast? When is the next episode? So the podcast is coming. We are going to film the 10th episode really, really soon. We wanted to do something really big for y'all, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it's going to happen like right, right now. So a lot of people are asking uh, for the next episode. So we're just going to film the next episode. And then whenever the surprise happens for then it happens. We're not going to hold up the podcast anymore because it's taking too long. So look out for the, the 10th episode really soon. We're going to film it really soon. So just look out for that. So somebody's asking, I know you recently spoke about your breakup. Is Craig protective about situations like that? Uh, yes, he is. Um, yeah, and I feel like we both are protective over people, over each other. When it comes to um, stuff like that, I mean, we don't really get involved into each other's personal life, but we don't like when each other gets played or gets used. So, yeah, I think in terms of that, we're both like protective. So, yeah, let me see what else is here. Um,. Some of these messy questions I'm not answering, girl. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, uh, your celebrity crush. Uh, uh, as I already told y'all, I have a few. So I'm going to give you like three women and three men. So y'all already know that Mario Lopez is one of my crushes from Saved by the Bell. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, them dimples, are you dumb? Um, one of my woman crush is Rihanna. I've met her in person. She is adorable. So y'all, the damn camera um shut off because um I was in the sun and it overheated. I hope y'all can see me because I'm um in the parking lot right now and um out of the shade girl I mean in the shade girl. Um, so yeah, what was I saying? What was the question? Oh yeah, so Mario Lopez, Rihanna. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, I don't know who else right now. Um, there's something about Lil Nas X that I like, that I'm liking right now. So Lil Nas X, Usher, oh my God, Usher. Um, Nicki Minaj. So, I need one more female. Let me see. Angelina Jolie. So, those are what I'm um, thinking um, right now. Y'all, comment down below and let me know if y'all want a um, another Q&A video. And underneath this video, y'all can ask whatever questions y'all want. And I'll just add it to the next vlog. It's not going to be like a full Q&A video. But I'm going to just add like the questions part to a vlog so comment down below and let me know oh y'all and i'm so excited because i had ordered my larve glasses my large um larve um sunglasses from um diera um glasses line and i had ordered the um the pr the pr package so it's gonna come with all four sunglasses and i'm waiting i ordered this for my birthday i ordered it from may 5th and they did say it's um, not going to start shipping until January. I mean, until July. But now it's... They said between July and August. 
But girl, it's almost August now, girl. I I need my 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 my, my sunglasses. So probably I will get them by the next video. So hopefully I can show y'all and do a little review of the my Lord Lorve sunglasses. So I'm excited. And you know what? I don't really wear sunglasses, but I wanted to support the era and I wanted to try something new. And um yeah, so you might never know. So um I might get them and I really, really like them and I just start wearing them. And it's the summertime now, so it's really good to have sunglasses. But anyways, I'm about to go in the house. Um, edit this video and get ready to um, go to the gym and then I have to film later so I'm trying to decide y'all it's so hard sometimes to decide what to eat for a mukbang it's like a lot of times a lot of times I be don't wanting to I don't know sometimes I have my times where I don't want to film and then a lot of times you don't know I don't know just I don't know what to eat I don't know what to cook yeah sometimes i'm just like yeah but whatever i'll figure it out so yeah i'm about to go get ready for the gym after i edit this video so today is tuesday so hopefully y'all i think i edit this video in time and y'all get this tonight girl but yeah i'm so excited that i bought my lottery ticket y'all y'all wish me luck wish me luck on the lottery ticket honey um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure if you're at this point of this video and you're still not subscribed, subscribe right, subscribe right now, like this video and click the notification bell. I love, 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 love my Kia Bear so, so much. Thank you guys for supporting me and being there for me. Y'all, we're almost at 10K. Are you dumb? We're almost at 10K. Are you dumb? I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all in the next video. Mwah!